Now that you've narrowed your list down to 10 to 12 of the most important components and processes, it's time to move on to making your model. Before you start working with your research team to create a model together, it can be helpful to spend some time thinking about your individual ideas or initial understandings. So your next step is to use your field notebook to create a draft version of your model, making sure to include the components and processes that you came up with as a group. I'll demonstrate how to create a very simple draft model that revolves around the modeling question, what affects the fish populations in the Crystal Cove State Marine Conservation Area? First, I'll start by drawing a picture to represent the main component in my modeling question, which is fish populations. It is important to note that we're really looking at how different factors increase or decrease the biodiversity and abundance of fish in the Crystal Cove State Marine Conservation Area. So I want to make sure to label this as fish populations, not just fish. If you wanted to, you could get really specific and label it as fish biodiversity or fish abundance to focus on just one thing as well. Next, I'll pick another component or process from my list to include into the draft model. I'll start by adding plankton, which is one important component that I had starred on my research team's list. I will then make a connection between fish populations and plankton by drawing an arrow from one component to the other. So for instance, I know that some fish eat plankton, so I think the number of plankton probably impacts the fish population. Next, I need to write a short description about this relationship. To do this, I'll complete the sentence frame, an increase in blank causes blank to increase, decrease, or vary. In this case, I think that an increase in plankton probably causes my fish population to increase because they have more food available. So that's what I'll write. Or if it's easier, I could also draw a graph that shows a relationship like this. You'll want to do this again for all the components or, and processes on your list. So next, for instance, I might add the process of fishing to my model. As you're working on your model, you might also think of other important components or processes that you did not include in your original list. And that's okay too. Go ahead and add them in. Once you've finished creating your individual models, get ready to share your ideas with your research team so that you can incorporate them into the team's model that you create together. And that's it. When you're ready, move on to the next slide to help you get started on your individual models.